Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to demonstrate a technique for creating a special type of welded flange that would follow the curvature of an existing plate. So this uh, had popped up in a tech support question I got the other day, and a user was having some trouble with the process of creating a flange on this shape. So it's difficult in Inventor to create a flange that would follow this particular shape. That would be a lot of complex curvature. And um, I'm not saying it couldn't be done, but what they actually wanted was to create a separate piece that could then be welded on to this surface. So there's a couple ways that could be done, but I think one of the easiest ways, and this is a case where adaptive design could be helpful, is to create a, a shape in place. So I'll go ahead and create this and I'll call it um, welded flange shape and I'll go ahead and save that. I'm going to have it as a normal BOM but I do want this to be a sheet metal template then I'll hit OK and I also want to make sure I'm going to use a surface. So the first thing to note is where do you want to weld this? So if I treat this side as the bottom and I wanted my flange to start from that edge I would select this surface. But if I wanted it to be here and start from this surface and maybe have like a welding gap where this surface is, I mean, actually start on this edge, then I'll pick this surface. So it's not a deal breaker if you don't pick the right one, but it can save a little bit of time. So you want to stop and think about how you're going to work this part. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this surface because I do want there to be a little gap on the back side where I can apply some weld. So I'll go ahead and create my, my uh, part there. And now that's going to use this surface as the origin, one of the origin planes. So from there, I can create a new sketch. And notice you'll see your XY plane has been defined as the top of the part. And that's what I want to use. So <clears throat> when I'm creating my design, I can just simply project geometry of the edge I wish to use. So you could right click at four o'clock projecting the geometry and you pick and choose what you wish to use. So I'll go ahead and pick this edge, this edge, this edge, and then this edge. So pretty straightforward stuff. Go ahead and create those edges and I can right click and finish my 2D sketch. And then it's a simple matter of applying the contour flange to it. It finds the edge. And then what I recommend is kind of looking at an end view and make sure, or in this case, maybe this top view would be better. Make sure that it's actually creating it the direction you want. I want it to be outside. So I click there and now I can see that it is outside that edge. That's exactly what I want. And then you can, of course, play with the height, etc., until you get the shape that you want. So if you don't get a preview, there's a couple of things to watch out for. If you've got a very tight radius and your thickness won't allow you to uh, create that shape. So let's say, for example, your plate thickness is an eighth of an inch and you've got a really tight, nearly 180 degree curve that's like maybe three or uh, five sixteenths. Well, if you're using plate thicknesses of one eighth, one eighth, and then your bend radius is also one eighth. It can't do it, right? Because it would need a full bend radius of a quarter of an inch in order to do that full round. So just be careful if you don't see that preview. It could be because you have too small of a radius for the rules that you're applying. Another thing that can happen is I made sure that this curve was tangent to the straight edge. Occasionally, if I've noticed that there are not tangencies if it's like a sharp corner of some type it it may you may have to add a, a fillet or something to get that to work so there's just a couple of little wrinkles i've run into in the past so otherwise we go ahead and hit okay there is our flange and then we could of course finish the editing and then we could apply some welds there if we wanted so just a little short basic tutorial on how to model something like this. It comes up every once in a while in sheet metal. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Otherwise, have a blessed day.